Hello my Shang Shang friends. In today's video, I'm gonna do a full day of eating. As the title probably let you know, I am postpartum and I'm nursing. And I heard about this, but I eat so much <laughs> now. So I actually want to do a full day of eating and track my calories. I don't normally track calories, but I'm interested to see how much more I'm eating. Maybe, if if any, maybe I'm just hungrier than usual. First, let's check in with the star of the show who was alert and awake, and we're trying to keep her entertained during this time. Because, Leslie, she had... She's a great sleeper, generally, but last night she was iffy. But I think still, even an iffy night is really good compared to how small she is. <laughs> but look at this baby. Hey, Hi, baby. honey buns. Hey, baby, can you turn over here? Or are you looking at your cards? Hi, oh, there she is. This way. Hi, honey. <laughs> turn. Turn. There Aww. she is. We've been practicing having her turn her head when a voice is on one side or the other. I think I'll w measure myself. I'll weigh myself, but I think we should weigh baby. A little, uh, yeah. Progress report check in. I think in the last video we weighed her. So let's see where she's at. So what do you think? Eight pounds? Whoa, I think seven pounds, Look at her. 11 ounces. <gasps> seven pounds, 11 ounces? Okay, I'm gonna 11. say 712. Okay, is it, are we doing like a Price is Right thing now? Uh, no. What? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> what did I say? What did I guess first? I win. A little chunky. You're up a whole yeah, pound. Chunky. I noticed she's getting chunkier. I know her little midsection. Her tick. belly. Oh, it's too bright over here. Mom. Oh, what's your macro split, girl? Good job, PR for baby, and then we'll see where I'm at. I haven't been weighing myself too much, but um, I'll get coffee started and then go do that right now. While that plays. Right, little sweetie. Oh, where are you going there, honey? <laughs> okay, last video I did show a little physique progress check-in, and I'll continue doing that um, <laughs> for as far as there's something to update. Basically, my uterus is just gonna shrink back to normal size. That, I think, has a lot to do with how your abdomen appears. So we're kind of waiting for that to happen, and I'm not sure now if it will continue shrinking, um, but overall, I'm feeling like I look, I look pretty like pretty much like myself. Maybe like myself in a bulk phase, but um, yeah, I'm, this is not a body that I feel foreign in. Probably because I've had so much weight fluctuation in my fitness career with powerlifting, with rebounding from a bodybuilding show. So those are all experiences that I think somewhat prepared me for having a lot of fluctuation at this stage in my life. Yeah, pretty interesting to see. So let's see how much I'm weighing. I forget if I did this last time, did I? Um, let me put the camera down because that wouldn't be very helpful. Okay, 164.4 pounds at almost three weeks postpartum, two days away from being three weeks postpartum. So that's um, interesting. I, before getting pregnant, I was hovering around 145 to 150. So yeah, I do know for a fact that I've put on some fat in my lower body. So that's just something that I'm aware of. And yeah, we'll see if I continue going down at this rate. I have heard when you're breastfeeding, you tend to lose weight at a rapid pace. I will continue updating you guys on any weight loss progress and physique check-ins in these videos. Okay, let's get coffee. Mm -hmm. I definitely did not measure my half and half for my morning coffee, but yes, of course, I have coffee while breastfeeding. I had coffee throughout pregnancy. The typical guideline is to limit your caffeine intake when pregnant between 200 and 300 milligrams per day. 
I might get somewhere around 150 to 200 and did that throughout pregnancy. But really, if you're pregnant, it's something that you might wanna consider if you're high risk, limiting even more or cutting out altogether. But generally it's accepted to, caffeine is a safe supplement, I guess, or something that you can have while pregnant, which is good because a lot of people like it. <laughs> However, a lot of people are dependent on caffeine. So if that sounds like you, it might be something if you're thinking about getting pregnant to like wean yourself off of just a little bit. I personally cut down to just have like one cup a day, which actually helped me sleep a lot better, which during pregnancy is also important. But anyway, yes, I have caffeine. I forgot to log my half and half because there's definitely calories in there, but I will do that and estimate. Obviously, I put a lot of half and half in there. Remember when you were at TTC for a few months, you went cold turkey. Yeah. And then you get your period and you just rail caffeine. <laughs> so that's why I say that. So I had experienced a miscarriage in 2019 and I was just more careful about things that people recommended you to limit or be careful about. So caffeine was one of those things that I experimented with cutting out. And in the first trimester, I think I was a little more careful because you're at a higher risk of miscarriage in the first trimester and then after into the second and third, a little less so. Well, a lot less so. <laughs> That's something that I experimented with cutting caffeine out altogether, which helped me be fine with a limitation. Didn't feel like a limitation at all. I will say I slept like a baby, not a baby. I slept like I was dead <laughs> when I initially cut out caffeine at night. It was glorious, but you know, is it worth it? Probably. All right, our first meal of the day. I'm getting everything prepped. I have three eggs. I'm making a breakfast burrito. I'm trying to get as many veggies as I can. Scrambled into this and let's cook her. I am navigating wearing a baby while doing this. This is my second day using the baby wrap. <laughs> it does make for more, a lot more convenience. So let's see how I do. If my burrito is ugly, then you know why. Little baby, she's sleeping. Okay, this is my meal one. I've got a breakfast burrito. Oh no, I'll be right back. Maybe I'm talking too loud. I'll be right back. Is she okay? You need to stretch, girlfriend? <laughs> okay, and here's my meal. I've got a breakfast burrito. I've used regular eggs instead of egg whites, and then I've got a fruit cup grapes and apples. I think this will hold me over for a while. I just intentionally added more fat to this. So more cheese than I usually would, more avocado than I usually would, added the bacon. This is pretty loaded. I'll show the macros on screen here, but hopefully it's enough to keep me satisfied. She's stirring. Dude, she's about to roll over. Can she do it? Stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Brian also made a breakfast burrito. Only difference is he had a lot more egg whites or all egg whites, I think right? all egg whites, egg beaters. And also this is like the fat free mozzarella. Yeah. So, uh, and light sour cream. I go full fat. Okay, time to play with little baby. She's listening to, who is that, Beethoven? Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's not impressed. She'd rather stare at the walls. All right, I'm gonna make a smoothie, a protein smoothie. I'm gonna use our <sighs> Buff Chick Supplements Buff Way. This is strawberry banana flavor. Not yet released, but when we launch whey protein, we'll be coming out with strawberry banana and then another flavor that I'll keep a secret until then. Coming up soon, um, August. Yeah, in August. So this will be really soon, which I'm really grateful for because I've been careful about what supplements I'm taking 
during breastfeeding and pregnancy, obviously. And obviously not taking any pre-workouts or pump products, but protein is kind of fair game. It's a dietary supplement. So that's exciting. I'm gonna kind of experimenting with things. I think I'm gonna try to do just strawberries and bananas. Maybe add a few cherries for some color. To, hopefully it turns out red, but we will see. But you do have- I've got a little bit of spinach in there just for health, but I think I need to just put the spinach on the bottom forget about it and hopefully it doesn't add, mm -hmm. hopefully it doesn't ruin the color. So I will try and use a measuring cup to mm -hmm. kind of eyeball how much I'm using so that I'm getting a good mm -hmm. amount of calories in. It's not gonna be really dense, but um, let's see what kind of fats I can add Until you start it. caking on the flax seed yeah, or the I'll peanut butter. Yeah, I'll add flax seed and coconut to and add coconut. a little bit of um, texture and also health and fat. I am pleased that the color is not brown. <laughs> Ryan said it was really bold trying to put in the spinach. I mean, it kind of, it's not the cutest smoothie I've ever seen, but it's a little pink, so that's good. You did skip the peanut butter. I think that helped. It's delish. Cheers. Mmm. I'm also gonna have one of these breakfast Trek mix. I love these because they're pre-portioned even though I could probably stand to eat like three of them right now. <laughs> They're 200 calorie packs, but they are delicious. They have like yogurt chips, cranberries, these little like granola balls, so good. From Trader Joe's, that's usually where we shop Trader Joe's. Sometimes a kind of regular grocery store, either Kroger or Tom Thumb, like a chain, local chain around here. And then sometimes we go to HEB Central Market, which is when we're feeling very fancy. And basic. Ryan made me this basic little wrap that I'm gonna have that has lunch meat on it. Lunch meat is something that I did kind of avoid during pregnancy. Um, you know, it's kind of up to the individual if you want to avoid it. Probably not super risky, but I would just look into, you know, avoiding that if you're pregnant. But I'm ready to have it now. Oh wait, are you putting it in the panini? Oh, yeah. perfect. I was gonna There's... eat it just regular. <laughs> Thank you. There she is in all her glory. Just a little snack. Ryan's got the trifecta plus one. The quadfecta. Um, the quadfecta. Are you putting this all in your smoothie? Yeah, we're gonna go green. So he's gonna attempt to make a green smoothie. So we've got the reds, then the buff greens. Let's see what those look like. Oh, hello. I enjoy putting reds and greens in smoothies because then it just blends in perfectly and I mean they taste great in water mm -hmm. but you just get a little tang they also, mm -hmm. I find then, them sweet and flavored which kind of offsets like the spinach yeah. or any kind of like bitterness from leafy greens. Yeah. Double scoop. Whoa, double scoop. This was our one of our like sample jars. So we're almost out <laughs> of it. And Full run's coming in soon. So. Yeah, so we'll have a pallet coming in soon. And we actually have a new space at the warehouse. So we'll show you guys mm -hmm. the upgrade. All right, I got fresh spinach and then chopped spinach for- Whoa, double spin? Yeah. I mean, Crazy. For the thickness. For the thickness. But look at this cutie. <laughs> we're trying to get her to chill out a little bit because we're going to go to the warehouse. So she should be napping right about now. So let's hope she falls asleep in that thing. What do you think, Mama? Are you gonna do it for us? Yeah. Whoa. That's a green daddy. health. You feel good about yourself? I haven't even drank it and I feel great. <laughs> We're running a few errands today. Baby is here. We're leaving her at the front office because it is not very temperature controlled in the like gym and warehouse area. So we're just keeping an ear out while we do a little bit of work. But super exciting. 
um, if you haven't already seen our Buff Chick warehouse, this is it. Let me show you because it's starting to get full, which is crazy. It's not super full. It out a little bit. But this is what we're working with. And Diana, our awesome team member, has done an amazing job organizing everything, keeping everything organized. And then, of course, Strong Strong Supply is back in this area. It's starting to get pretty crowded in here. But who's excited because it just so happened to work out that we're getting this warehouse. And Ryan's opening the door for us. Oh wait, we already have that warehouse. <laughs> We're getting this warehouse. Duh, we have that one. Aw, do you guys miss the gym? I miss the gym. I'll be back one of these days. So, this is our new space that we've got. It's so crazy because they're all the same size, but this looks so much smaller because it's not open. Do you want to give the people a tour? <laughs> sure. Um, office. Office, right when you walk in. So I think we are going to bring some paint on the walls, slap some paint on the walls. Um, there are two offices that are kind of open and conjoined. I think, and we floated this idea I think one of these rooms will be like a daycare. <laughs> I obviously have a baby. Jolie, who's editing this, has a baby. So yeah, we'll see. We're playing it by ear, but just in case, we can bring some help in for both of us and anyone else who joins the team. We'll have like an unofficial space that is baby safe because the gym and the warehouse area is not very baby friendly but that's the plan for at least one of these rooms and probably a desk hopefully it was actually diana's idea <laughs> so she is the one who's here most often and working it was her idea right so if she complains <laughs> that there's crying babies while she needs to work i'll remind her that it was her idea she won't care she's an angel and then there's a third office which is pretty small Pretty small, but I think we're gonna turn this into like a media studio. So a place to take photos and videos, backdrop have backdrops, lights. couple different backdrops on each wall or corner. And yeah, that's that. And then we're gonna build stairs, right? Yes, um, probably stairs and a little awning over the door. And mm -hmm. then there's the whole second floor, but it's probably too hot for like an office or yeah. like any workspace. Might just be some like overflow. Yeah. Or like non-supplement, non-product storage, yeah. random things that we need. So yeah, this is another 1,500 square feet that we're adding and to. Then, oh, we're gonna do wall-to-wall, -wall pallet racks, back wall, probably one of these walls. Yeah. We have like 50 pallets of protein coming in and yeah. more other stuff, a lot of other stuff in the next couple weeks. So. Sounds That's good. It. See ya. <laughs> uh, trying not to show you my boobs, but I'm just hanging out with her and just fed her. I'm going to play with her in a little bit, but I'm going to quickly have one of these. These are the kind of like knockoff Quest bars from Costco. I love these. They're my favorite. They're 21 grams protein. And who cares? Because I have to play with this little girl. Hold on. Baby is down for a nap. It is about almost 7 p.m. So I just wanted to come on and say, I know I haven't really shared much personal info or like info about nursing and like my new life with being a mom, mostly because I like, I truly find enjoyment talking about nutrition, talking about training and talking about fitness. I really enjoyed talking about prenatal fitness and I really found it fascinating to study and learn about all that stuff and share with you all. And I will continue talking about postpartum fitness, but I do just wanna address, like I probably won't do much lifestyle aside from the odd clip or like showing you Emerald. I feel comfortable doing that. But yeah, sometimes people ask me questions about 
nursing and my experience and like what I'm doing and stuff and I'm no expert on things like that like child rearing I have no idea what I'm doing so <laughs> I probably won't be the influencer to follow if you're looking for stuff like that I will say because I do share quite a bit about my business and now I have to navigate like having a career and being a mom I feel really lucky that I'm in the situation that I am in with Ryan working with me. We run the businesses together. So it's nice because we're able to be on like able to be on the same page with my counterpart. I do feel immense pressure right now <laughs> with like keeping up with work. Yeah, so that's the only thing that I'm really, not only thing, but that's one big thing that I'm struggling with and trying to navigate and just like let it go. Luckily, I have an awesome team and they have been amazing in allowing us to take some maternity and paternity leave, but I still feel a pretty big responsibility with like, I was about to say being an influencer, <laughs> but mostly providing insight and being a resource for people who are interested in getting and lifting so that my mission doesn't end with me being a mom and my mission is always to get more people into strength training more barbells in the hands of women especially so yeah i just wanted to share that with you that's something where it's like now a huge chunk of my time is being occupied with being a mom so i feel like um guilty <laughs> for not working as much and that is just Part of being an American I think <laughs> so yeah that is like my own kind of workaholic issues that I need to pan out and figure out but anyway I just wanted to share that okay let me put my Invisalign back in and then we'll have dinner I'm gonna shower first then <sighs> the days are long and I smell like it <laughs> all right we are preparing dinner I think Ryan took a shot of the steaks in the sous vide so this is a way to cook you can cook anything sometimes most often we'll cook steak or salmon in this but basically the sous vide this attachment will make the water a consistent temperature so that the steak is cooked all the way through perfectly the same or something along those lines did i explain that correctly that's pretty good okay <laughs> it's nice because you can kind of just set it and forget it and then it'll be ready i think that took like two hours and then ryan's going to be for the steak and he'll show you that outside when he goes outside i think it was two and a half but it was from frozen oh nice uh, yeah kind of convenient so super convenient that's kind of been the key with making meals speaking of convenience we love any kind of like broccoli and kale slaw or like broccoli and kale kind of pre-mixed salad mostly because i will rarely buy kale <laughs> like raw kale on its own and i would rarely like mix something like this together so this is nice to kind of add some variety broccoli and kale and like nice cruciferous veggies that i don't usually get so this is the one from Trader Joe's. I love the one from Costco and usually most grocery stores have them, but they all usually have like a poppy seed dressing. So good, so easy. So that's gonna be our gourmet dinner. I'm committed to showing you guys the beefer. <laughs> Don't worry, we're on baby walk. But this is the beefer outside. What is the point of this thing? Oh. So after you sous vide the steak, it doesn't really look like a nice looking steak. Yeah, it's pretty ugly. It's, it's pretty like ugly. Brown and... Yeah, because it doesn't have any grill marks or anything. So this thing basically beefers it. What does it do? It's like, it's like a, I mean, it's like a propane broiler. Yeah. Um, but it's like 1500 so Fahrenheit. Cool. But we'll do mostly steaks in here and then sometimes broccoli. Vegetables or yeah. I do. Yeah. Well, that thing is gonna light on fire. How long do you put it in there for? Mm, like a minute per side, a minute and change. How's baby? She's doing good. I always look to see if her eyes are open because I feel bad if her eyes are open and she's just sitting in there by herself. Oh, uh, let me show you. My rose bushes over here are doing amazing. I'll show you those later, but... Oh, shit. Okay, not important, not important. Ready? Let's see it. Whoa, now we're talking. That looks much, much better. 
Okay, he'll do the other side and then we'll eat it. Yeah, look how ugly that used to be. Beauty, thank you. I was gonna show you guys that my plants are just, my plants are just sad, but you know what? It's fine. I'm trying to keep a human alive, you know what I mean? <laughs> And here she is. I just told Ryan it might be too rare for me and he said, no, it's not too rare. Okay. <laughs> There's our steak. It's pretty fatty. Meat draft oh. time. Oh yeah, the meat draft. I forgot about that. We each take turns choosing a slice of meat. Anyway, here's what the kale salad looks like. So we've got some good balance. Bone apple teeth. Okay, I will have more ice cream later, <laughs> but for an after dinner dessert, what is it? A snack versus dessert. I'm gonna have one of these little things. They are so cute and delicious. These are from Trader Joe's, the little mini cones. Ah, gotta love them. Also, I cannot forget, I'm also going to take my prenatals and some omegas. These are the ones that I take. This is what I took all throughout pregnancy. And I'm continuing that while nursing. Okay, it is 9.30 and I am so tired. <laughs> so I'm gonna do an outro tomorrow morning when I have a little more energy, give y'all a wrap up. But before I go to bed, I'm going to have the best ice cream ever. This is the Trader Joe's Speculous Cookie Butter Ice Cream. And if you've never tried the Speculous Cookie Butter, Tastes like a Biscoff cookie, the ones I used to get at the airport, or maybe like Delta still has them. So good, very, very dense. So it's kind of been funny to see like things that I eat versus what Ryan eats. Here's Ryan's little tiny baby cup. And then I just have a healthy regular portion of the ice cream to kind of finish the night. Sometimes I will wake up and need to eat something like in the middle of the night but that would be more like 3 a.m i didn't do it last night but sometimes i will need that i've heard people say that they used to leave like snacks on their nightstand because they would get so hungry in the middle of the night and that's definitely happened to me i usually wake up pretty ravenous and yeah it's just been kind of funny <laughs> i only was really ravenous at maybe the second trimester of pregnancy but that kind of calmed down i think i just generally eat quite a bit but we'll be interested to see what my total calorie and macro totals are tomorrow so we'll see you then if you live by a trader joe's and you haven't already had this then you need to get it trust me Okay, you guys, that is all for my full day of eating. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Obviously, when you're nursing, I think it's just to be expected that you will need more calories. So my totals, <laughs> it's funny because I have like a target of just under 2,000 calories. My total calories for the day was 2,927, so just shy of 3,000 calories. That doesn't surprise me, but I am really trying to get in as many calories as possible skewing slightly towards more fat and yeah obviously at the end of the night i do try to get in some more fun things and emmy is crying so i'm gonna close this out really quick thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed it if you did give the video a like and i'll see you guys in the next video bye mm -hmm.